thing I wanted to point out at the back of it was um, this kind of, you know, the propaganda that surrounds United is always really funny. And one of the main things I wanted to talk about was flipping Phil Bloody Jones. Phil Jones is still at the club. I think, what is he? Like, I think I remember, I forgot I checked some of his stats beforehand in terms of how long he's been at the club. He's had like, you know, under 30 appearances. Over It's a, it's a crazy amount of lesser appearances he's had uh, after the big transfer that he arrived. And I was focused on saying that he's going to be a future captain of the club and it never has worked out a combination of injuries or just maybe him just not being really up for it but overall he spent the last four seasons or so essentially just like collecting checks and not really bothering to play football and the really annoying part about him is that because he's English and British he's had this amazing PR machine around him that somehow made it so that if you do criticise him and his inability or unwillingness to leave the club to have his contract terminated so he can go and actually play football for somebody else you kind of are looked upon like you're being out of order like you don't have any compassion and then I think last season when some of the rumblings around him were kind of getting really loud and people were kind of trying to call call him out and basically saying why are you still at the club and why are you not kind of trying to make a move and I think Rio Ferdinand has some choice words to say for him this piece came out on Guardian where he essentially tried to fight back against some of the claims that he wasn't serious about the game and whatnot. and he says here in the title Phil Jones I'll never give up I feel like I'm still good enough right so he has this obviously um, this this ego still despite his inability to actually play the game the last few seasons and his unwillingness to actually move he still thinks he's good enough to play for May night which is absolutely bizarre to me but still it doesn't mm-hmm. even make some sense because if you're a professional football player you probably have to have some level of ego in order to play the game in the first place but we are now approaching September the transfer window is closing, I think, today, which is Thursday, and there still has been no real news. Oh, don't get me wrong, I think the loan window I think, stretches further in the week, but I know the permanent signing window ends on Thursday, and we still have had no word about Phil Jones. Is he going to leave Man United finally, or is he going to keep sitting on the bench and being happy to collect a check? And most likely he will. And I think the problem I have with it is I'm not really mine because it's not my money. I'm not the one paying the guy, but I just hate the the kind of double standards that exist on here, right? When it's a foreign player that's doing the same thing, they call them the mercenary. They essentially hound them out in the media. They don't really have any real nice things to say about him. But when it's an English player, especially a white player with blue eyes, they don't necessarily have anything to say about him negatively. And they want to make sure they protect him as much as possible. When I think he's actually doing him a disservice by kind of protecting him this way, because he probably should be going out there and play football because he's still relatively young. He probably still has the ability, even though I don't really rate him, he probably still has the ability to play for a Premier League side especially teams like Bournemouth and stuff he could easily go and, uh, and command a pretty decent wage there captain to side and do some good things over there and who knows if he if he actually plays pretty decently knowing how Southgate is with these old legends he might end up back in the England squad again that's not really it's not that far-fetched but for whatever reason he doesn't really want to uh, or maybe on the back on the other end of it maybe it's just the fact that because he's not been he's been so inactive the last few years maybe there's just no clubs out there willing to take the chance on him because of because of the economy we're in at the moment uh, you'd imagine it's hit football clubs the same way they can't take as many chances as they would do in the past so maybe some of them are looking at him thinking how are we going to take a player who hasn't really played regular football in the last four years and hope that he's the one that's going to lead our back line and be able to organise us and to be able to do, you know, whatever, maybe, you know, allow us to kind of survive in a Premier League, maybe get promotion or whatnot. It's too big of a chance, too big of a risk to take. So maybe they're all not interested. So he has nowhere to go. But I think as a club, if we're a top, top club, the same way that Chelsea, in, a, in effect, I think, terminated Ross Barkley's contract, I think, like, right? Ross Barkley is a pretty young player with a lot of potential around him a lot of hype around him when he was obviously coming up through Everton it probably hasn't you know actualized the way he wanted it to actualize but still he's definitely somebody with a lot of ability and he has been essentially let go by Chelsea who and he has far more ability I think than Phil Jones but for whatever reason Phil Jones is still hanging on for dear life at Man United and I can't wrap my head around it I really want him to be gone because I feel like Phil Jones does represent how poorly we are run as a club and his representation of how poorly our previous regime the likes of Ed Woodward and stuff were in terms of running the club in terms of rewarding players with contracts that shouldn't be rewarded with contracts I think he he got an extension on his deal under Oli Gunnar Solskjaer which is a nice present he left us with absolute bullshit and now we're basically hamstrung with this guy who clearly is picking up like at least 60 grand per week so he, so he has no reason to leave and he's just living the life in it living a vida loca it's absolute piss take I think in my opinion but hey let's see maybe he does end up leaving hopefully he does end up leaving